My name is Frank Barron. I was in Newland High School 1966, 67, 68, and 69. What activities were you involved in while you were at NHS? Well, a lot of athletics. I was on the basketball team, baseball team, track, but also a key club, uh, Hawaii, and uh, Spanish club. Pretty involved. <laughs> while at NHS, do you recall any teachers that made a positive impact on your life? Richard Smith uh, was probably the first one that comes to mind. Richard Smith was our key club sponsor, and also he was my English uh, teacher and uh, homeroom teacher. And uh, Richard Smith set a very high uh, example and goal and expected a lot out of you and did a great job in teaching. He also prepared me uh, for college by, uh, he worked a lot on us on our uh, writing skills, and uh, that's helped me even uh, in my business because I have to, uh, write ads, and then uh, I've had to make some talks and that sort of thing. So he's he's been a big influence on my life. Did NHS provide you any opportunities that affected you later in life? Oh yeah, I think you know everything that uh, you learned at school. Uh, not only the academic work, but also a lot of the social skills, and also uh, prepared for leadership skills. I was fortunate enough to be uh, president of the key club and president of the senior class and president of the Spanish club. And in all of those activities, you learned a lot of leadership skills. So, yeah, Newton High School was a great background for me. In your opinion, um, what makes NHS a special place to go to school? Well, I think it's small town is one of the things that really made it special to me. It was small enough that we knew just about everybody in school at that time. I think we had 188 in our graduating class, and so uh, I knew every one of them. Most of them I'd gone through school all the way from elementary school. Uh, knew their families, went to church with them, played ball with them. So uh, it was just a really close-knit group and uh, just uh, e excellent uh, uh, opportunity to grow up in a small town. Um, what did you go on to do after high school? I went to Mercer for two years, I'm an undergraduate, and then I went on to the University of Georgia and got a uh, Bachelor of Business Administration with a major in real estate, and I've been in real estate for over 41 years, and uh, so it uh, uh, really prepared me uh, for that background. Um, talk about the importance of community at NHS. Well, I'm sure it's still this way because I see a lot of the evidence of it, but um, we were very involved in the community. Uh, when we were in the key club, we used to help with the blood mobiles, and that was always a treat to get out of school and go work at the blood mobiles, and they fed you a grilled cheese sandwich and donuts <laughs> and Coca-Colas, and uh, so everybody fought to get to go to uh, work at the blood mobile, and if you were in the key club, that was one of the advantages of being in it. But also we were involved in other activities within the uh, community. Uh, in, in the Key Club, we did special uh, projects uh, of service. And one of the things was the Dunaway Gardens was a big attraction uh, back in that time, but it had sort of gone uh, downhill with nobody keeping it up. And so the Key Club went up there on Saturdays and worked to clean up the gardens and get it back in good shape and that sort of thing. So we did a lot of community activity at that time. Um. Do you have any special stories or uh, events that you'd like to tell us about? Well, I think our, I guess, claim to fame or whatever was that um, uh, we were the uh, first school, uh, first um, team that played Central High School. Central High School was the African-American school in Newnan at that time. And, of course, Newnan uh, was uh, with integration that started, but it wasn't in full uh, play. But we played uh, Central High School. Central had finished third in the state the year before. They had all their starters coming back. We were uh, not much and weren't expected to do much. And the sports editor at, the, at the, that time, Johnny Brown, wrote an article about how we didn't deserve to be on the same court with uh, the, the, the Central, that Central was going to wipe us up, wipe mm -hmm. the floor with us and that sort of thing. I think he might have done it to inspire us, but at any rate, it definitely did. And we went on to beat Central by over 20 points. And, wow. Uh, uh, that was the first time the gym was packed, the whole town was there. I mean, it was a big event at that time, and uh, we were very fortunate to, uh, to win. The other thing, I guess, would be is we were the last uh, class uh, before full integration, and we had uh, a number of, uh, uh, of the black students that had come to Newton, but I expect there wasn't more than 15 or 20 in the whole school mm -hmm. at that time. 
and one person that really helped integration to go well and to not be any problems. And by the way, we had no problems whatsoever uh, with integration at that time. Uh, but Jerome Dunson, uh, who went out for the basketball team at Central and couldn't make the team, came over and was a star <laughs> for us. And uh, he assured us that we could beat them, that we played defense and they didn't play defense and gave us confidence that we could beat them. He said, I played with both of you and we can beat them. And of course, we went on to beat them, like I said, for, by over 20 points. So, uh, But Jerome Dunson also won a national award for the 100% Wrong Club which was really a big deal at the time because uh, he proved that uh, integration could be done without any hard feelings. Jerome came in and just fit right in with everybody and was such an outstanding person, an outstanding athlete, that people looked up to him and respected him and uh, he just made the transition easy, I think, for everybody else. So talk about the integration process. Well, of course, we were the year before full mm -hmm. integration, but we had, like I said, probably 15 or 20 uh, African American uh, fellow students at that time, and all of them were um, good, good people. We didn't, we didn't have any trouble. Uh, it was very smooth. Uh, another one that I remember was Greg Greer. He also played on the basketball team. Uh, Greg uh, was a quiet type. Uh, Jerome was more of the out front type guy who was a leader and that sort of thing. Greg was more of the quiet type. But uh, I remember both of them as being, you know, not only good athletes but good people as well. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we, we had no problems with, with integration, and like I say, I think Jerome and his attitude and his willingness to uh, step out front uh, really made a difference, and like I say, he even won a national award from the 100% Wrong Club that, um, uh, that was a national award, so it was pretty significant. Wow, thank you. That's all we have for you. All right.